the right to die has been approved by the WA Parliament, but terminally ill patients will be left waiting 18 months to be able to access euthanasia. Health authorities will spend that time working with doctors to fine-tune the process. Drew Bathgate would like to say something. I have been diagnosed with motor neuron disease and I will die from it as it slowly shuts down my body, one function at a time until it shuts down my breathing. Struggling to speak, computer software does his talking. Battling to walk, a wheelchair keeps him mobile. And when the Premier emerged victorious from Parliament last night, with his voluntary assisted dying laws signed and sealed, sufferers like Mr Bathgate felt a paradoxical sense of hope. This law will enable sufferers the option of ending the suffering when it gets too much. It's the ultimate act of compassion and kindness to our fellow citizens and I'm very proud and thankful for all the people who made this happen. Doctors had labelled the legislation dangerous before negotiating extra safeguards. We think that it's certainly safer than when the bill was originally introduced, but we want to work uh, productively with the government on the next steps. And those next steps will take 18 months before any terminally ill adult can apply to die under these laws. An expert panel will be established to develop clinical guidelines, medication protocols and training for those doctors willing to take part. Then a prescribed substance can either be administered by a medical expert or swallowed by a patient with an illness that is likely to end their life within six months. But Drew Bathgate isn't ready to die. But later on, it may be an option. That is one of the important reasons for the law to be there. It gives you options. Gary Adshead, Nine News.